Colchicine is a medication used to prevent or treat gout attacks, which are sudden and involve one or a few joints, usually the big toe, knee, or ankle. Gout is caused by too much uric acid in the blood, which can form crystals in the joints. Colchicine works by decreasing swelling and lessening the buildup of these uric acid crystals, which cause pain in the affected joints. This medication is also used to prevent attacks of pain in the abdomen, chest, or joints caused by a certain inherited disease called familial Mediterranean fever. It works by decreasing the body's production of a certain protein, amyloid A, that builds up in people with this fever. It's important to note that colchicine is not a pain medication and should not be used for other causes of pain. The daily dosage and optimal timing for taking this medication will depend on your individual medical condition and should be determined by your healthcare provider. Before taking colchicine, make sure to read the medication guide provided by your pharmacist. Take this medication by mouth with or without food, exactly as directed by your doctor. If you are taking this medication to treat a gout attack, it works best if you take it at the first sign of an attack. The recommended dose is 1.2 mg at the first sign of an attack, followed by 0.6 mg one hour later. The maximum recommended dose is 1.8 mg taken over a one-hour period. If you are taking this medication to prevent gout attacks or for pericarditis, ask your doctor about the dose and schedule you should follow. If you are taking this medication to prevent attacks of pain caused by familial Mediterranean fever, the usual dose is 1.2 to 2.4 mg daily. Be sure to tell your doctor and pharmacist about all the products you use, including prescription drugs, non-prescription drugs, and herbal products. Do not increase your dose or use this drug more often or for longer than prescribed. Your condition will not improve any faster, and your risk of side effects will increase. If your doctor directs you to take colchicine regularly, use it regularly to get the most benefit from it. Avoid eating grapefruit or drinking grapefruit juice while using this medication unless your doctor or pharmacist says you may do so safely. If you are taking this medication to treat symptoms due to familial Mediterranean fever, tell your doctor if your condition does not improve or if it worsens. Side effects of colchicine may include diarrhea, nausea, cramping, abdominal pain, and vomiting. If any of these effects last or get worse, it's important to contact your doctor or pharmacist. It's important to note that this medication has been prescribed because your doctor has judged that the benefit to you is greater than the risk of side effects. Many people using this medication do not have serious side effects. However, if you experience any very serious side effects, such as unusual bleeding slash bruising, severe diarrhea or vomiting, muscle weakness or pain, numbness slash tingling in your fingers or toes, or signs of infection, it's important to stop taking the medication and seek medical help right away. A very serious allergic reaction to this drug is rare, but if you notice any symptoms of a serious allergic reaction, such as rash, itching slash swelling, severe dizziness, or trouble breathing, it's crucial to seek medical help immediately. This is not a complete list of possible side effects, so if you notice any other effects not listed here, be sure to contact your doctor or pharmacist for advice. Before taking colchicine, make sure to inform your doctor or pharmacist of any allergies you may have, as this medication may contain inactive ingredients that can cause allergic reactions. It's also important to discuss your medical history, especially if you have kidney or liver problems. Limit your alcohol intake while taking this medication, as alcohol can decrease its effectiveness. Additionally, colchicine can affect how well your body absorbs certain foods and nutrients, so it's best to consult your doctor or pharmacist for more details. If you're planning to have surgery, it's important to inform your doctor or dentist about all the products you use, including prescription drugs, non-prescription drugs, and herbal products. It's important to note that older adults may be more sensitive to the side effects of colchicine, such as muscle weakness slash pain and numbness slash tingling in their fingers or toes. This medication can also decrease sperm production in males, potentially affecting their ability to father a child, so it's best to consult your doctor for more information. If you're pregnant, Colchicine should only be used when clearly needed, and it's important to discuss the risks and benefits with your doctor. This medication also passes into breast milk, so consult your doctor before breastfeeding and follow their recommendation on when to take your medication in relation to breastfeeding. Now, let's talk about how to use colchicine and some important precautions to keep in mind. First, let's talk about drug interactions. 
it's important to be aware that other medications can affect how colchicine works or increase the risk of serious side effects. Some examples of medications that can interact with colchicine include certain antifungal drugs, antibiotics, and medications for HIV. It's important to keep a list of all the products you use and share it with your doctor and pharmacist to avoid any potential interactions. It's also important to note that colchicine may rarely cause serious muscle damage. This can lead to serious kidney problems, especially when taken with other drugs that may also cause muscle damage. Some of these drugs include digoxin, gemfibrozil, and certain cholesterol-lowering medications. Additionally, colchicine may interfere with certain lab tests, potentially causing false results. It's important to inform lab personnel and all your doctors that you are taking colchicine to ensure accurate testing. Lastly, do not take this medication with any other product that contains colchicine to avoid double dosing and potential overdose. Now, let's talk about how to use colchicine. It's important to take this medication exactly as prescribed by your doctor. The dosage and timing of colchicine can vary depending on the condition being treated, so it's important to follow your doctor's instructions carefully. Overall, colchicine can be a beneficial medication for treating certain conditions, but it's important to be aware of potential interactions and precautions to ensure its safe and effective use. If someone has taken too much colchicine and is showing serious symptoms like passing out or having difficulty breathing, it is important to call for emergency help right away. In the U.S., you can call the local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222. In Canada, you can call a provincial poison control center. Symptoms of an overdose may include severe nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, abdominal pain, difficulty breathing, and weakness. If you or someone you know is experiencing these symptoms after taking colchicine, seek medical help immediately. It's important not to share your colchicine medication with others. If you suffer from gout and are taking colchicine, it's important to be mindful of your lifestyle choices. Being overweight, consuming excessive alcohol, and eating certain foods high in purines can worsen your gout symptoms. Foods to avoid include anchovies, bacon, beer, sardines, and organ meats like liver and kidneys. It's recommended to limit alcohol intake and seek advice from your doctor, pharmacist, or dietitian for more information on managing your diet. While taking colchicine, your doctor may schedule lab and or medical tests, such as blood tests and liver-slash-kidney function tests. It's crucial to attend all medical and lab appointments and consult your doctor for further details. As for the daily dosage and optimal timing, it's important to adhere to your doctor's instructions. The typical starting dose for gout flare-ups is 1.2 mg, followed by a smaller dose an hour later. It's best to take colchicine at the first sign of a gout flare-up, and it can be taken with or without food. Be sure to follow your doctor's guidance for the most effective use of this medication. If you're taking colchicine regularly and accidentally miss a dose, take it as soon as you remember. But if it's almost time for your next dose, just skip the missed one and take your next dose as scheduled. Don't take a double dose to make up for the missed one. It's important to take colchicine exactly as prescribed by your healthcare provider. It's important to store colchicine at room temperature, away from light and moisture. Avoid keeping it in the bathroom, and make sure to keep all medications out of reach of children and pets. When it comes to getting rid of any expired or unused colchicine, don't flush it down the toilet or pour it into a drain unless instructed to do so. Instead, consult your pharmacist or local waste disposal company for the proper way to discard the product. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.